So yeah, this is more of an issue than a question. You mean so it's a long story? I will um, make it short. Okay. Yeah. Then in this case, it's okay. Go ahead, Vulcan. Okay. So I want to live by the deed fully and completely. But here in this country and my surrounding, they don't really allow me or rather it is difficult to live by it because of all the uh, unallowed things that are around me, such as music, people who are smoking, etc. So I was wondering what I could do to live more of the deal yeah. and not go astray. Vulcan, stay on the line. When somebody is asked to describe this glass, some people will say it's half empty or one third empty, and some people would rather look at it, oh, it's half full. I like to be optimistic. I like to take advantage of every situation around me, even if it is a test or a trial. When I fall sick, I benefit out of my sickness. And this is the attitude of a Muslim, by the way. If you're living in Germany, you should look at it as an opportunity to introduce your deen to those who have no clue about Allah. And guess what? It's so easy to bring people there who don't believe in God, who associate partners uh, to God in worship uh, or, or in false deities. It's easy to convince them. I'm telling you out of experience. When you say that too much smoking and music, guess what? It's all over the world. If you go to Mecca, you will find that, you know, people actually smoke right outside the masjid in the sanctuary of the Haram, you know. Rather, in, in Germany, if you are in any indoor activities, a restaurant, a work, a job, a company, no smoking. In the USA, you have about 24 feet outside the door of the restaurant or the building in order to smoke, very despicable. Smoking is very despicable. So, please, if you have a chance, mashallah, you have some connections and you have an access to live in Mecca and you have somebody to help you, of course, do it. Who would miss such an opportunity? No, Sheikh, I'm no one. I'm like you exactly. I don't have any connections. I, I, I beg in order to go for Umrah or Hajj. Well, in this case, in whichever you are, turn the situation into a positive and a productive situation. Can you pray your five daily prayers? Yes, alhamdulillah, I can. And you fast in Ramadan? Yes. Oh, but too much fitna, Shaykh, and I have to keep lowering my gaze. If you visit Cairo, Egypt, fitna is as well. If you go to any country, you name it, any country, any Muslim country, the fitna is everywhere. I know it's a little bit more due to the freedom, uh, liberty, if you want to commit adultery, if you want to drink, no one is going to question you. But Alhamdulillah, I'm Muslim. My conscience is telling me what to do and what not to do. I never felt bad living in the West. I never felt bad live, uh, visiting Frankfurt or France or the UK or Canada or USA. Because I know that in the place I'm in, Allah has sent me for a reason. And there are a lot of people who are in need for my help and guidance. Which guidance? The guidance, which is known as Hidatul Ashad, is just to tell people. Ma'ala Rasul illa al balagh So please, 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 my dear friend, you need to take advantage of your presence there. On the other hand, if Allah blessed you and you got an invitation or you have some profession where you can work in a Muslim country and get married and upbring your family there, do not waste the opportunity. So this way you live in peace and in harmony with yourself. Don't forget that the messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, had to leave Mecca, where was the Kaaba. And he addressed this saying by Allah, you are the dearest city to Allah, and indeed you are the dearest city to my heart, but I'm forced to leave you. I don't have a choice. Okay? Then the messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, when he died, his companions, most of whom did not die in Medina or Mecca. They died abroad because they talk upon themselves the mission of conveying the message of the Messenger of Allah. You too, me and every Muslim, if you have a chance to be the Messenger of the Messenger of Allah, please do not waste this opportunity.